But her name is not Elvira. It is Saura. Elvira is a fake name. Let me look at that notice. This slave has escaped from Mr. Leoncio Almeida, from Campos, province of Rio de Janeiro. She's a slave called Isaura with white skin and black colored hair. She has dark colored eyes. Her mouth is pink and symmetric. Her teeth are white and well placed. Her nose is thin and appealing. She has a slim figure and is of normal height. This slave is very elegant, sings and plays the piano perfectly. And this is due to the excellent... She escaped with a man by the name of Miguel, who claims to be her father. It is expected they are hiding behind false names. The person who captures her and returns her to her owner will receive a reward of 10,000 reales. There you see. That slave that is dancing in the middle of the room is the slave that we are looking for. I'm going to capture her and then I will claim my reward. You know, I don't blame you for looking for her, sir. She is a perfect creature who belongs in a dance like this one, or even in a castle of a prince. It would be better if you kept this all to yourself, instead of giving her back to her owner to get a reward. <laughs> it's hard for me to believe this. Who could have ever imagined that this angelic figure dancing in front of me If you're an angel at your house, here inside my house, you are certainly a goddess. Take my heart, because it's yours. I feel like my fate is with you. From now on and until forever, I will be all yours. Oh, Mr. Alvaro. I am happy and sad at the same time. I'm happy for this unforgettable night. And yet I can't help but be sad because I know that there won't be any more nights like this again. No. You'll always be my guiding star on this road of life. You already know me well enough, and you know that I could only be speaking the truth. I believe very much in your words, and I believe in your feelings. Miss Elvira, I am lucky to have a fortune. Very lucky. I am respected, and I have a high position here in society. But I would never be able to be happy if you weren't keeping me company and wanting to share all this good fortune with me. Please marry me, Miss Elvira. I want you to be my wife. Don't say no. You must say yes. I'm willing to escape with you, to run away if your father doesn't agree to the marriage. I'm capable of doing anything just as long as... as long as I can marry you. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's wrong? Is anything the matter, Miss Elvira? It's nothing. I just felt a strong... a strong pain in my heart, but it's slowly going away. Listen, is it because I had asked you to marry me? You know what? I can't dance anymore. I'm not feeling well. Oh, calm down. I'm sure you'll learn how to get used to these dances and these parties. Because you were born to shine and charm everyone in the room. The final song is about to start, but I don't think you feel like dancing. Do you want to leave? No, Mr. Alvaro. Let's keep on dancing. It will be the last song of the night. with her, with that darn woman. You saw him, mother. 
and you saw how that tramp flirted with him. I know, my dear, but calm down and remember that her father is forbidding him to pursue her. Oh, really? Do you think he's really forbidding her? Then why did he bring him to this dance? And why did her father let her dance with Alvaro the whole night? Why, mother? I don't know. You know how people can be really mysterious. I have big news, but I'm not sure whether I should even tell you. Uh, and why not? Because it's serious. There will be a scandal at this dance. A scandal? A scandal? I am not going to tell you because I don't want to see you get involved, Blanca. I don't understand what you mean, Geraldo. If I tell you, you'll start to scream, and I don't want you to start screaming. Geraldo, what is it? What did you find out? No, just wait for it. Just wait and you'll see. the mystery tell us just wait for a few minutes because the scene is about to begin and then I'm sure you'll even be more intrigued oh why hello there chief Quintana tell me did you enjoy the recital as much as I did tell me what you think ah uh, I liked it a lot and I think that you are a very good orator <laughs> but how come Gonzalves Diaz didn't read it to us himself ah. The poet's throat is irritated, and this is because of the recital he had several days ago at the palace of the emperor, His Majesty Pedro II. Ah. But son, what is the scandal that you're talking about? When will it take place? I told you, just be patient, mother, because patience is a great virtue to have. Having patience makes difficult things easier to handle. Geraldo, at least give us a clue. Come on! I can only tell you, that your idea of bringing the chief of police with you here to the dance tonight will be successful for you, my dear sister. But, but, uh, what exactly do you mean by this, Geraldo? <laughs> so now you two are curious. Oh well, being curious is not a sin, you know? It is just a need for us to know. And of course, that need is a characteristic of powerful minds. And this curiosity you are feeling will be satisfied. Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. The scandal is about to begin. Isaura the slave will be right. Let's go for Isaura now and tell everyone she's a fugitive slave, Mr. Martino. We'll wait until the last dance is over, Raimundo. The time that we'll be taking action is coming very soon. I see no scandal happening. Apart from Alvaro dancing with that country bumpkin, you know. They've been dancing the whole night. Calm down, Blanca. Just wait a couple of minutes more. You'll see what I'm talking about. Can we go to the living room now? But what for? There are delicious cakes there. <laughs> May we, Madame Perpetua? Go on. Thank you so much for all the dances you had with me tonight. Thank you, Mr. Alvaro. But now, I must leave this place. Before you go, I first need you to answer my question. I asked you before, but then you complained about your heart being in pain, so I didn't insist on an answer. Excuse me, Mr. Alvaro. You asked me to marry you, and I... I started to feel dizzy. And then we started to dance that last song. Yes, but the song's all over, and that was the final one. I would now like to hear your answer if you don't mind me, Miss Elvira. Don't you want to answer it? It just takes a word. Would you want to marry me? Who cares if I want to marry you if it's impossible? I understand that your father is not allowing me to pursue you, but I also know that you love me, Miss Elvira. Just say yes, that's all. All I'm asking, I'll find a way for us to get married. Even if we have to run away. And once we return, we'd already be married by then. And your father would have to agree with it. And I believe that when time will give our union his blessing. How, how can I give you my answer? 
and the sweetest words I've ever heard. So enchanting, but... No! Oh my God, it's them. What do you mean? Please excuse me. I just cannot listen to your sweet words right now, Mr. Alvaro. I'm not feeling well and I want to leave right now. You want me to find a doctor? We have plenty right here. No. Thank you very much. Don't worry about me, please. I'm just feeling a little unwell. I think I'm just tired and I'll be fine once I'm home. You just want to leave like this right now? Without at least giving me a word to comfort me or at least some hope? could give you comfort, yes, but words of hope, no. And why not? I don't even have hopes for myself. Don't you love me, Miss Sophie? I love you. I, I love you so much. Then be mine. It's impossible. Impossible? There you go again with your mysteries. What obstacle may there be? Mr. Alvaro, pardon me, sir. My name is Martino. I am a captain and I am a slave hunter. This man here is Mr. Raimundo. Izawa the slave. We'll be right back. I don't understand why you don't want to stay here. Sao Paulo is a fast-developing city. The people living in this city are making a fortune from coffee. If I may say so, Madame Perpetua, I just want to let you know that in all honesty, I, my daughter, and my adopted son, Pedrinho, absolutely admire and have utmost respect for you and your son, Mr. Alvaro. As do I. Even from the very first day, I've only had good things to say about you and your daughter, which is why I cannot understand what possible reason that you may have to not allow my son to pursue your daughter. I just can't allow it. Did you just tell me that you are a captain? And that you hunt down slaves? That is right. I don't understand. Don't you know this is a party for abolitionists? Who invited you people to come into my house? What are you doing here? The reason we're here is to hunt a slave. A slave that doesn't belong to you, but to someone else. So you're saying you came to my dance without an invitation? To hunt for a slave inside my house? I would say that is correct. <laughs> you do this on my dance? This is a celebration among abolitionists. Everybody here is in favor of the liberation of slaves. You gentlemen are quite arrogant. If you'll excuse us, but we would like to have a few words in private with this woman here. You want to talk to her? Are you telling me you have something to do with this woman? It's regarding a matter of utmost importance, sir. Miss Elvira, do you have anything to do with these men? No, I have nothing to do with them. Did you help a slave to run away? What's wrong with your face? Why are you trembling? I want to know why these men are bothering you. Listen, don't let these men treat you like this. It is not our intention to bother you, sir. Pardon me for saying so, but this is much more serious than you can imagine. I'm afraid we have to take this woman with us. For what? You are not taking Miss Elvira. Mother of God. What is it? What crime did she commit? Could you please tell me what these two men are doing here and why does Mr. Alvaro seem to be so upset about it? I want an answer and I want it now. This woman is worth a huge fortune. Our employer is waiting for us to bring her back. I would like to understand once and for all what you two are talking about. But before that, I want to make something clear. I am not going to leave Miss Elvira's side. Not even for a second. So if you won't tell me what this is about, then you can go, right this minute. I am very sorry, sir, but I have no intention of losing my reward. Like we said, sir, that lady is worth a huge fortune. You two are trying my patience, and I've really had enough of this. If you won't explain this, I'm asking you two to leave right now. 
You have no right to be here, so I'm asking you to leave. Since you demand to know the reason, then we'll tell you. Believe us when we say we have no problem with telling you why. I didn't really want to do this, but we have to let you know. This lady you're talking about is no lady at all. She is definitely not a lady. This woman is a fugitive slave. <laughs> She's a slave? She's just a slave! <laughs> See? That finally puts an end to this mystery. The poor Miss Elvira is not a free woman, but a slave. So that girl is only a slave? She's not just a slave, but a fugitive slave. Listen, you. If somebody paid you to make a scene at my dance, to embarrass me and this lady, tell me who he is, then tell me how much he paid you, and I will double it, just so you leave us alone. I shall say it again. That woman is not who she says she is. She's a fugitive slave. The only reason we're here is to take her back. Her owner is looking for her. Father, this is so embarrassing. I am humiliated. I knew that this would happen eventually. Either this man is a rotten bastard or he has simply had too much to drink. Either way, I don't care. I demand that these two gentlemen be taken out of my house. I'm really sorry, sir, but we are telling you the truth. And Olivier is not her real name, it's Isaura. The woman is a fugitive slave. Geraldo and my friends, please, help me here. Show these two gentlemen out into the street. Let's go. Hey, calm down. Please calm Outside, down. Right please now. don't throw us out without hearing no, what we have to say. Before you throw us out, please read what's on the newspaper. And after you read the paper, if you still don't believe us, then you can spit on both our faces. You animals, you both are nothing but a couple of worthless animals. Excuse me, sirs. I'm the chief of police in this town. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. My name is Martino, and I happen to be a captain. I am here at your service, and I'm the best slave hunter in all of Brazil. Let me see the announcement. For the love of God, Mr. Alvaro, don't let them take my daughter away. Leave this to me, sir. I'll make sure to get rid of these two right away. This woman escaped from the plantation of Leoncio Almeida in the municipality of Campos, province of Rio de Janeiro. She is a slave by the name of Isaura. Her identifying characteristics are her white complexion, she has black hair and she has dark eyes. Also, her lips are pink in color. All of her teeth seem to be white and well-placed. Her nose is thin and perfect. Her body is of normal build, and she also happens to be of average height. Her demeanor is quite elegant. She's educated, can sing and play the piano. Due to the fact that she received an education, her appearance is deceiving. Her demeanor can easily be confused with an educated free lady who is a member of high society. She escaped from her owner alongside a man by the name of Miguel, supposedly her father. It is natural to assume that they have both altered their names. To anyone who manages to apprehend them and return them to her slave owner, he shall receive a monetary reward in the amount of 10,000 reales. I think that settles it then. The facts stated there are more than perfectly clear. Only a blind man wouldn't be able to tell that this woman is the slave described there. Well, gentlemen, and ladies, I have indeed broken the law, and to my knowledge, that is unforgivable. But you know, as God is my witness, I only did this because I was a victim of much cruelty. Under the hands of the man who is my master. I am indeed a slave. <laughs> so she's just a slave. Hmm. Not just a slave, but a slave trying to pass herself off as a lady. <laughs> oh, my poor son. Well, I'm glad. At least now he'll be able to consider my daughter. No, he was going to pick a slave this over me. This is tragic. This is tragic. <laughs> Well, it's only right that she be punished. That's enough! That's enough! <laughs> Somebody get a doctor! She fainted! Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Give her some air. Careful. Is the lady Dr. Right? Ernesto, please help her. Let's bring her over there. Get her, get her! Everyone, move! Move! Help us! Be careful. Be careful! Let me do it, I got her! 
I realize how tense the situation has become, but I insist that everybody remain calm. I can't believe that poor girl Faye. Everybody's going to talk about how you received a slave in your house and treated her like a lady from high society. Madam Perpetua, you are feeling sorry for a mere slave? Oh, now how about that? After everything that's been revealed tonight, how is he supposed to look other ladies in high society straight in the eye now? Now that everybody knows that he fraternizes with members of the slave class. <laughs> A slave managed to top those ladies in every way. A talent, beauty, even in spirit. Simply surprising. It must be disappointing for them, knowing that a mere slave can be more beautiful and talented, and even well-educated, than they are. <laughs> disappointing and cruel. Izawa the slave. I need to run away. Where is Jogo? Before we tell you, you need to be strong. But why? Jogo, our cousin has disappeared. He what? Isaro's a fugitive slave. Didn't I already tell you to stay away from her? We came here under orders from her owner himself. I'm really sorry, but the gentlemen have a point. The right thing to do here is to turn her over to the captain. I am not giving her to them, Chief Quintana. I don't care if you have to arrest me. I don't feel well. The pain is more than I can stand. I don't think that I can bear it. <laughs> 